Hey everyone, today I just want to introduce you to a beautiful little camera that I bought. Um, it's the Firefly Q6 action camera. Now just a quick um, rundown on it before I get into the nitty gritty details of it. It's 4K quality, uh, shoots uh, 24 frames per second in 4K, 30 frames per second, um, and 2.7K at uh, 60 frames per second um, and 1080p for slow motion I think. Um, it's got uh, audio recording which is awesome to have. Um, now for RC plane enthusiasts it's got a built-in gyro which is just fantastic. You're always going to get those super smooth um, steady videos um, and if you're into like doing loops, barrel rolls or knife edges on your planes, this is ideal for it. Um, it records, it can, sorry, captures uh, still images as well, 16 megapixel with adjustable settings um, such as uh, ISO and exposure, etc. So um, let's get into it and I'll show you more of, of the detail. So here it is here. Just weighs 44 grams, um, nice and compact side, and it's very sleek design. Um, so it's not like a GoPro where you put it um, on top of your plane and it's like boxy and it's, you know, the wind, you know, it's going to affect that. This is, you know, if you're putting it right on top of, um, uh, in the middle of your wing, on top of the fuselage, it's not going to cause any hindrance at all. Um, now, if you want to mount it on your wing, um, all you have to do is put a counterweight on the other side um, in the ex you know, exact same position on the opposite wing, uh, which I've done. Uh, just make sure it's the same weight off the camera, 44 grams, and you're good to go. Or, better still, buy two cameras. Uh, have one either side recording uh, from the front or recording um, from the rear. Oh, sorry, just got a text message then. What's that? It's the missus. Don't forget milk on your way home. Oh, too late, love. I'm already home. <laughs> uh, anyway, back to this beauty, beautiful little camera. Now, um, in my opinion, it, it's hands down the best action camera on the market. Uh, bang for buck. So. 100 bucks um, on eBay or Amazon in Australia, uh, no doubt uh, could well be cheaper in other countries. Um, so for everything that it does for 100 bucks, it's an absolute bargain. So anyway, uh, it comes with little instruction booklet here, which is surprisingly enough, very easy to read and very informative, such, as, such is um, the camera, um, interface as well. So I'll just turn this around. Okay, so we're in settings. So the first one is to adjust the, the size. Now, like I said, 4K 24 frames per second, 2.5K, I correct myself there, at 30 frames, 1440, 30 frames, 1080 for 60, 1080 for 30, 720, for 120 frames per second and VGA, which I don't think anybody would use. Uh, so in reality, if I was um, filming fast motion, I'd normally shoot 60 frames per second, but I've done some experimentation with it and on the planes and 4K really works out fantastic. So. That first button is just like your enter OK button. So press that, choose. Now there's your version of the um, update. Uh, you do have to update it um, when you get this camera out of the box. Default settings, format, um, just format your SD card, which just goes in the slot there. Now um, I understand uh, you can only use up to a 32 gig um, SD card, otherwise it won't work properly. Uh, I don't know why, uh, but I just slotted a 32 gig um, SD card in and it's perfect. 
everything records fine. On screen display, um, on and off, so I'll have that on. Light, audio, so everything is virtually just on off. So we want it on. Standby, so obviously if you um, leave the, the camera on, uh, it'll turn itself off. Um, that's for the time, set the time. Bat show, so let me refer to the manual. I don't really know what that is, but we'll go through that in the booklet um, very soon. Now the angle, large or middle. Uh, we want to get as much um, detail in the video as possible. So we want large, it works for me on the planes, USB, gyro. Now this is fantastic uh, with RC planes or I suppose any kind of vehicle, um, but I always have that on, goes without saying. Uh, remove the fisheye, so um, being such a smaller lens, um, you don't want that, you know, fisheye um, look when you're doing your recordings or you might um, have circumstances where you do want it. Um, that's just for brightness. TV mode, um, so that's uh, relevant to um, your local area, I suppose. NTSC is what I'm using. Um, uh, now, I went too far, so again, just that top button. Just focus back onto that, lost focus, totally, there we go. Get back up to where we were. And all it's a matter of just cycling through. Uh, you can go forwards or backwards. So date stamping your, um, your videos, data rate, high and low, obviously you want high. Now, there's your, um, uh, what do you call that again? So your timer, so um, for your still images. So we're not using any still image, metering, contrast, so um, evaluation, so your RGB colour, so standard or vivid, so you want your videos to pop, leave it in vivid or standard if you want to do some colour grading yourself. Sharpness, your ISO, now I've got, uh, keep mine on auto, 100, 400 or up to 1600, so that's pretty cool for, you know, a little, you know, $100, $100 camera. So I'm just gonna go back up the auto. Interval shots speaks for itself, burst, as does that, speaks for itself. Now, size, this is just for still images, 16 megabyte down to five megabyte, um, just leave it on the maximum. Frame first, uh, apparently, um, the instruction says that um, you want that on, so we leave that on. Slow-mo, uh, I haven't tested that, that out yet, but it shoots 720p at 120 frames per second. Um, that might be an idea actually for me to test that out on the plane next time. Uh, I haven't done it yet, but I'm sure I'll give it a crack at some point. Audio settings, um, microphone rotate, so you can actually um, rotate the camera angle, but I leave that off. So I'm just um, filming horizontally, but you, if you want to mount it vertically um, like that or like that on whatever um, toy, you know, I wouldn't say toy, expensive hobby um, RC planes are, but if you want to mount it on the side of the plane like that, you can. Um, but with any good, um, video editing software, you can rotate your videos anyway. So moving right along. Now WDR, um, this is pretty cool. So I'll leave that off. So in bright, sunny conditions, um, you leave it off, but if it's um, cloudy or not so bright, you would have that on. Uh, if you left it on in bright, sunny conditions, um, your footage would be um, really overexposed. 
So you just um, adjust that setting um, either on or off according to um, the lighting conditions um, where you're shooting. Um, auto, so cycle five minutes, that's um, on or off, that's, it'll start, keep recording for the five minutes and after that uh, five minutes is over, it'll start at another five minute cycle of recording. So you don't really miss anything, it starts pretty much um, straight after the final, the last video that you recorded. So just going back with auto, you can actually um, rig this camera up to a switch where uh, you can turn it on and off. Now, I'm not going to proclaim to know how to do that, but I know it can be done. Uh, so that way you're not recording um, non-stop while your plane's in the air, but I don't see the, why you'd need to use that, and no, I wouldn't anyway. Um, Time-lapse. Another pretty cool feature on it. Um, so half a second, one second, all the way up to 30 seconds time lapse. Now for a, <laughs> just gonna turn that off. For a little camera like this, the features that it has, fantastic. And then we get back to size. So to get out of there, um, oh, sorry, that's just out there back and this button at the end here um, is your main switch on and off the front button start recording as you can see now it's recording and stop it is that easy to use uh, it couldn't be any easier and just to, to cycle through the settings and to change the set change the settings it's a piece of cake, it really is. Now, the little informative booklet. So, I don't know at the start of this video if I told you the name. So it's actually called the Hawkeye Firefly Q6. 4K FPV Sport DV. Uh, it's got, here we go, OLED display, gyro image st stabilization, Sony 12 megapixel, it's meant to say CMOS sensor, but that's okay. Just open it up, man. It is... <laughs> All right, let's get into focus. There we go. Very informative, um, mega easy to understand. And everything about the, all those settings that I just ran through with you there, they are there. So you can actually just notice there where it says recording audio on and off. So if you don't wish to record audio when you're flying, um, turn it off. Um, I like to have it on because I like the sound of the, um, the propeller or, um, when I'm flying and um, any other you know, background noise. Um, just leaf through it. Really, really informative and easy, as I've probably stated quite a few times. Um, charging, transferring files, which we'll get to in a minute. Now, that actually looks like a GoPro to me, um, but it's not. But that is all about setting up your remote, remote control um, trigger. So if your plane's in the air, you can turn the camera on and off. Um, so... Now, I will just show you on my planes here. So I've got the Apprentice STS 1.5 metre. Just going to... Right, so you can mount that camera anywhere you want. So yesterday I flew this plane and I put the camera over here. Now, I just used double-sided tape to do that. Uh, Gorilla Tape, which I bought from Bunnings. And over here, I just made up a little package of um, metal washers and made sure it equaled 44 grams, and that was my counterweight. Now, it, uh, today, I flew the Valiant 1.3 metre, and I'm just going to grab the camera and bring it back and show you. So just double-sided tape right in the middle there, and that's how she sits, perfect. And you get a really wicked view 
uh, of the plane fl flying, you know, obviously what's in front of you, and of the propeller. Um, but there's all sorts of things. You could cut a little window in the um, front of the cockpit um, screen there and put the camera in there. Um, I'm thinking about mounting it under there. So the possibilities are endless as to where you can mount it on this plane. Now, I don't think it would be advisable, or actually would not be advisable, to put it on a smaller plane um, such as these. Uh, like I've got the Apprentice Stoll 700 millimetre plane. Um, even though the camera just weighs 44 grams, it's still going to be too heavy for that plane. I have tested it on my 850 millimetre Ranger and whilst that plane got in the air, it did struggle a bit um, with power. Uh, would not do any loops um, or anything like that and so I didn't want to push it. So uh, just on bigger planes, it works a treat. Uh, make sure it's not doesn't really upset the centre of gravity anywhere, but uh, if you are going to put it on your wings or um, somewhere like that, like I said, just use a counterweight. Okay, so I'm going to show you now how easy it is to transfer the files. Okay, so here we are at the computer. So you've got your USB, just plug it in and at the back there, so it automatically turns on. All right, just go up to here whilst it's all plugged in. USB drive, so up there, it just says DV, which is the, the camera itself. So it brings up two options, your photo, your photo file. Click on that, got nothing in it. So go back, movie, um, so they're just uh, um, some files that I've left on there. Um, now you can open them and play them straight um, from there. And this was just me mucking around earlier before, uh, just holding the, the camera um, in my hand. So just close that. Now the transfer is really just drag and drop up to there. copies the file onto your computer and leaves the original on there. Um, delete. Done. And like I said, for $100, with the technology and the features that it has, um, it's basically got everything a GoPro will do um, without the price. Uh, so. I don't think you can go wrong. It's better suited the size and um, the design of it than a GoPro for flying on RC planes. Um, do yourself a favour, go and get one. You won't regret it. Um, and just experiment uh, where you want to do it. Now, I think this would also be awesome on RC cars or tanks, helis, whatever you may want to put it on. I've even put it on my... Um, handlebars on my push bike when I've gone mountain biking. So give it a shot, great little camera. And I'm not getting paid to save this either. Um, I'm just putting it up there because I was super impressed with its capabilities. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video yeah, um, as usual. Please subscribe for um, future videos that I bring out. And if you've enjoyed this, please give a thumbs up. Always goes a long way. <laughs> started a little bit then. Always goes a long way and it's always much appreciated. See you next time.